Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain face off Wednesday in the opening leg of their Champions League semi-final, with each seeking its first title in club soccer's most prestigious international competition. City has advanced this far only once before, in 2016. PSG, which had a recent history of breakthrough expectations ending with spectacular collapses, reached the final for the first time last year. The match is being played under continuing fallout from the failed attempt by 12 clubs, one of which was City, to break away from the Champions League and form the Super League. Follow along for live updates. Starting 11, Edison, Kyle Walker, Ruben Diaz, John Stones, Joao Cancelo, Rodrigo, Ilkay Gundogan, Kevin De Bruyne, Bernardo Silva, Phil Foden, Riyad Mahrez starting 11, Kaylor Navas, Alessandro Florenzi, Marquinhos, Presnel Kimpembe, Mitchell Bakker, Idris Agarai, Leandro Paredes, Angel Di Maria, Marco Verratti, Maymar, Kylian Mbappe midfielder Phil Foden has scored in three of the team's last six matches. City is loaded with threats including Kevin De Bruyne and Raheem Sterling. Ferran Torres has four goals in six tournament games and Ilkay Gundogan has three goals in nine appearances. Brazilian goalkeeper Edison has allowed just three goals during this season's tournament. Zach Steffen, a former University of Maryland standout, sits behind him and has played one game in the tournament. Steffen, who started in Sunday's League Cup final, will be the second American player to participate in a Champions League semi-final next to Chelsea's Christian Pulisic, who made history after scoring in Tuesday's semi-final. Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain are tied as the tournament's second-highest scoring teams, 21. Paris Saint-Germain features two of the tournament's top three scorers, Kylian Mbappe, eight goals, and Maymar, six. Mbappe is expected to play Wednesday after enduring a thigh injury late against FC Metz on Saturday. The PSG star has been critical to the team's success, scoring 19 goals in his last 14 appearances and recording two braces in the last week, including one against Metz. His blistering pace provides a consistent threat on the counterattack. Behind him and Maymar, the team's next highest scorer in the competition is Moise Keane, three goals. Defender Marquinhos's availability is in question as he grapples with an adductor injury. He last played on April 7, when he scored during PSG's first leg against Bayern Munich. The controversy and commotion surrounding the short-lived European Super League was cast aside for a few welcomed hours Tuesday in rainy Madrid for the resumption of the continent's cornerstone, the UEFA Champions League. And on a night pitting two of the world heavyweights who nine days earlier had threatened to break from the tournament, a young American from Pennsylvania burst back into the spotlight with a first-half goal and put his club in position to reach the May 29 final.